And a 10 News viewer shot this incredible video of perfect strangers running into the flames to pull the women from the plane. 10 News reporter Candace Crone just spoke to the man who shot that video. And Candace, he had just gotten off work when the plane crashed. That's right, the man was leaving his job at that AT&T yard across the street when he saw the smoke and immediately ran over to this parking lot to try and help the two women inside of that burning plane. He said several witnesses put their lives in danger to jump in and help. Thick black smoke billowed from the fiery plane as a good Samaritan bravely risked his life to pull the passenger out of harm's way. I didn't think that there was a lot of hope for her. She was unresponsive, not moving, not breathing. It was pretty bad. Jeremy Dunkelberger shot this cell phone video of the dramatic rescue. He was one of several people who rushed over after learning a pilot and her passenger were stuck inside. There were five, six, seven people that were right there on top of that burning plane with little fire extinguishers. People were uh, assessing wounds and cutting off clothing and putting pressure on things. Dunkelberger says he knew he had to rush over and help after seeing the pilot trapped inside the plane and was yelling for someone to help her. I said, we've got to get you out of here. And she said, well, my leg's broken. It's broken really bad. I said, I understand. I know that, but we've got to get you out of here. I said, the seat behind you is on fire. I've got to spray this fire extinguisher in there. I need you to take a deep breath and hold your breath. The man says he then used a fire extinguisher to put out the flames behind the pilot seat. He says everyone who helped was heartbroken after learning one of the women didn't survive. Dunkelberger says if it wasn't for the quick actions of the Good Samaritans, another life could have been lost. I was impressed with their bravery right away. It was something I hope to never see again. A Dunkelberger told us that the flames were practically out by the time firefighters got here because of several Good Samaritans basically grabbing fire extinguishers from their jobs wherever they could find them uh, to jump in and help. He says that this was the worst thing that he has ever seen, but he was glad that so many people came to the rescue of those two women. Live in Kearney Mesa, Candace Crone, 10 News.